Every day, millions of us reach for the convenient snack, the easy meal, trusting the label. But what if that convenience came at a cost we rarely see, a cost that reshapes not just our bodies but perhaps our very future? To understand this, we first need to define what we're talking about. Food isn't just processed or unprocessed. There's a spectrum. Minimally processed foods are things like fresh produce or home-cooked meals. Then there are processed foods, which might involve some preservation but largely retain recognizable ingredients. But at the far end lies ultra-processed food, engineered with industrial ingredients, long lists of additives, and an extended shelf life, all designed for maximum taste and convenience. Recent research is shedding light on the profound impact of these foods. One study fed two groups of people, one an ultra-processed diet and the other whole foods, documenting shocking differences in health outcomes. This wasn't just about calories, it was about how our bodies responded. Research links ultra-processed foods with increased risks of heart disease, diabetes, obesity, and poor organ health, affecting nearly every major system. It's crucial to remember, though, that not all processed foods are equal. Some, like whole wheat bread or fortified cereals, can still contribute valuable nutrients. What does this mean for everyday folks? For communities facing limited time, tight budgets, or restricted food access, convenience often becomes the default, not a choice. It raises a profound question. When did our survival become more dependent on shelf life than on soil, on quick convenience than on deliberate nourishment? This isn't about shame or judgment. It's about fostering awareness and asking critical questions. We're not aiming for perfection, but for a deeper understanding of what we consume. Next time you reach for that ready meal, take a moment to look at the label. How many ingredients do you truly recognize? How many sound more like chemistry experiments than actual food? Consider small, achievable steps. Cooking more often, prioritizing whole foods when possible, and becoming a more curious, informed consumer. What we choose to eat shapes more than just our individual bodies. It shapes our future.